So here's the Zorina 17 update I'm doing partially and here's Zorina 17.1 core and here is the GUI of the software update. So let's begin with the first one and a half gig RAM which is good for all PCs as you can see I have opened a few apps and you can see 2.3 gig usage. Now let's go to Zorina's menu the universal search on the menu if I type in task manager you can see it checks for software settings and your system monitor it also knows and the calculator it calculates for you now the next one is search panel you can check it the settings well all the search panel but I'm not sure how to do it I don't have the settings here is the spatial switcher so you need to switch between your windows then you can use it like that so if I turn it on it's no longer the normal one but as you can see, it doesn't go for the first 3D one, but it goes for the second 3D. So you can see it does it what it does. Now you can throw all your apps into the workspace. You don't even need to do anything. Just throw it in and you can use it. How great. Then here is the vamp of the software center. You can see it has all the sources you can choose. And you can see the new and improved add-on. You can install the add-ons very easy and the GUI is much more nicer bigger and stylish so you know how to use it now advanced windows tiling you can use this if you're going to do like windows you want to move the windows to the left or to the right to make it more nicer then here's the settings that you can tweak so how you want to move the thing to the left to the right to the corner to align your apps so this is how you do it just move to the corner same as windows so let's try this also you can go inside here to the tiles and you can do some tweaks if you want so here are all the settings the key bindings the key bindings in general all right so if you want you can check it out yourself so this is how you do it this is the key binding uh, this is the tiling where you can see you can choose whichever you want once you move it to the side but it only works better with your system settings so you can see here is the quick settings menu you can see your power your sound everything on the go at this side you can see you can change the dark mode or not you can change the power mode you can even change the volume settings the mic and everything you can all see from here here is the settings for all of it if you want to see the advanced settings all are right here and here is what the output you have the input you have then if you want to change the power is right here then here is the screenshot you can get the revamp version of screenshot there's a video camera a selection and windows whatever i don't have it so here we design weather app you can see here you can change it to a celsius you can change it hourly daily and whatnot it's more revamped now in zorin os 17.1 and 17 so here's the parental control how to do it just go inside here go in new users and choose a standard and you will be the parent of the standard user now let's show you the rdp they even have a protocol for windows you don't have to install any extras anymore in linux just turn it on and go into your windows pc use the remote desktop and you can see it works flawlessly nothing wrong except it just makes it smaller so here is the bottles you can use this it's like a virtual machine for windows you can just go in install the execution and you can run the only problem i have is none of it works for me i don't know why none of the apps is even working for the normal one like advanced ip scanner because maybe it is not uh, uh, created for but as you can see if i try to start it and you will just wait for a few seconds and then it will crash right so even if they say there's a lot of compatibility for this i don't see it i've tried wps i've tried um ip scanner i've tried op studio all of them have issues and if you go to dependencies you can install all the extras like microsoft visual c and whatnot you can install it just like how you do it on your windows pc so this is how you need all this thing in order for it to run and you can shut it down you can see there's a lot of settings for you to play with inside here you can also see i have also tried to install wps office doesn't work see that 
and <coughs> you try VLC and it asks you for the internal window system asking you for where's the music and all those things it doesn't it's not able to search inside your actual PC so how to do it I have no idea there's no nothing to tell me how to do it I have tried way to copy and paste it but it doesn't work there's no drag and drop features and down here you can see you have all the normal windows things you can see the control panel you can see you can see a control panel you can see there are a lot of windows like a windows xp type of gui but yeah you get to see all your control panel uninstall and everything right here <coughs> So right now if I try to copy and paste you can see it doesn't paste anything right so whether I need to control the V myself so here is the LibreOffice this is updated I've tried it it doesn't have any shock uh, any command that is similar to Windows they can't use XLOOKUP but in only office works so yeah they still need a lot of improvement there are some that is not compatible in the LibreOffice while only office works fine so right now you can see only office has everything similarly to Windows I would recommend only office if you're doing a lot of Windows and here is the new feature where they can the Zorin OS can determine the Windows execution files and create a logo for them it makes it look awesome All right so this is how the developers of Zorin OS is they actually listen and they try to make Windows friendly to Windows users that they are trying to actually you know easily install for your Zorin OS so right now I show you I'm installing without the bottles and it can install it just doesn't work so I try WPS I try all also same there is it can work but yeah they are on the way they can at least show you that it can install so if right now you try to install op studio and there is a linux version it will take you to linux version in the store so it is very simple to use over here you can see there's a window placement appearance this is when you open apps it will open it all through the center and you can see if you see the red color circle exit at the top right here they're all in the center but if you take to spread you change the spread and you open a lot of apps they will be jumbled up inside your desktop as you can see the red x it's not in the center anymore there's a lot of windows jumble up and you can see the red x by default so that is all and you can see they are actually updating all these things to make your life simpler please like subscribe and comment below is my previous videos to the center is my other videos and to the side of it is my playlist for different topics in different playlists you can check that out for my previous and future videos that is to come so thank you all for watching famous cyber Ramos, signing out